Kenya and Mozambique have agreed to deepen trade ties between them. This follows the signing of two broad agreements covering political and economic cooperation. The deal signed in the presence of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his host President Felipe Nyusi will cover areas such as minerals and mining sector, livestock breeding, trade, tourism promotion, agribusiness, manufacturing and value addition, and the blue economy sector. Some of the discussions that are going to take place is how we can connect trade, how we can add value on our ocean, particularly in the blue economy, and we'll be looking at the transport. Meanwhile, over 100 have been hospitalized and unconfirmed number of people dead following cholera outbreak in Turkana County. According to Turkana County Executive Committee member in charge of health, Jane Ajele, the current rains had hampered efforts to contain the spread. Elsewhere, students from various universities across the country took to the streets in Nairobi to protest against police brutality and the ongoing lecturer's strike. Similar protests were held in Kisi town with students demanding justice over last month's killings of a Meru University student leader Evans Njoroge. Therefore, as Kisi University students, we are waiting upon the government by Tuesday to tell us that the, uh, the, 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 the striking lecturers and the workers, they have resolved the issues and now they are ready to go back to class. And finally, Nyeri County Public Hospitals are set to receive medical supplies following the flag of over 65 million shillings consignment from the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority. According to Nyeri Governor Mutai Kahiga, the consignment will help ease shortage of drugs that has in the recent weeks been a challenge in public hospitals. Finance Director of Kemsa Waiganjo Karanja further commended Nyeri County for topping the list of counties that pay for the drugs on time. Lakini Mwangi Citizen Live at 9.